Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome to session six. Hope you've taken the trouble to read about diabetes and its discoveries in insulin. Sessions five, I'm so sorry. Now we're going to go on to session six, which is going to be about diabetes and its complications and patient education. We're going to learn a little bit more about having high blood sugar and how it affects the rest of the body. There are many complications that can arise in the diabetic patient. When the blood glucose is high for one thing, healing is affected. The blood sugar, high blood sugar may result in very poor healing. I once had a patient who um, started off after surgery with this a very, very small wound. And because of those high blood sugars and poor healing, wound up with a massive, what was just once a small wound into a huge wound that had to be packed and took forever to be healed. So be aware that if the blood sugars are very high, healing can be affected. Take the case of this patient who has an ulcer peripheral vascular disease. That's another problem all associated with wound healing due to the high blood sugar. Now take the heart. Yes, the heart can be affected as the surfaces of the blood vessels, instead of being smooth, become very rough. You can have difficulty, all due to the high blood sugar. Then we can see here gangrene of the toes. Gangrene of the toes because there is no circulation to the toes. And some people do wind up losing their toes. You get spasm of the blood vessels, all associated with peripheral vascular disease. You may even have a patient having problems with the kidney. Yes, it can affect the kidney. Some patients will wind up on dialysis because of having diabetes. Another way it affects is the one thing it affects again is the vision. People may have visual problems. There are some people who develop uh, glaucoma as a result of diabetes. They may even go blind as a result of diabetes. And that's what is, is so important to let patients know what can happen as a result of being diabetic. So to learn more about the complications of diabetes, please go to dearnurses.com and read complications of diabetes. Now, some people have misconceptions about diabetes. Take the case of this young girl who's saying, I hate to exercise and I do not have a weight problem. I have heard people talk that way, but it doesn't work that way. Just because you do not have a weight problem does not mean that you're healthy and it does not mean that you're safe. How about if fat is accumulating on the internal organs instead of on the outside? Take the other patient on the left. What is he saying? My doctor talks about calorie control. I can add a few more units of insulin and have my sugar under control. Insulin is not a quick fix. It should not be used as a quick fix. You don't eat all you want and then balance it up with extra insulin. This is a very dangerous way of thinking. First of all, this patient has not received any real education to make him understand. He has to follow the doctor's instructions. If he's on insulin, he has a regime that he's supposed to stick to as well as uh, usually they check their own blood sugars and that's how you give yourself insulin and dietary usually gives them a diet to follow. This other patient is saying I fail to see what high blood sugar has to do with eyesight. Oh yes it does. You can lose your vision due to um, the blood vessels on the back of the eye. You can have a lot of problems with the blood vessels on the back of your eye due to high sugars. Just like patients get problems with their hearts when the blood is not flowing freely, the same thing can happen to the eye, the back of the eye when the blood is not flowing freely. So these are just misconceptions and patient education is of paramount importance. Now here is this young lady saying, mom and my brother take shots for diabetes, wonder when my turn is coming. Well, being diabetic is not about being a turn thing. We know that there are families who have diabetes and are more prone to diabetes, but that does not mean we sit and wait for it to happen. We can do something called patient education, educate patients that they can be trained to take care of their bodies, to take care of their eating habits, to exercise, anything that you can do to prevent being diabetic because it's such a chronic illness. And so to learn more about that topic, you can go to uh, dearnurses.com again. And there is a little uh, booklet there for the layperson, diabetes for the layperson. We're going to talk a little about this gentleman, Mr. Swanson, who has not taken the trouble to follow the nurse's instructions and the doctor's instructions. 
Mr. Swanson defies the orders of the nurse and calls his wife to bring him some food. Now, he wanted some food, and the nurse let him know that it was 2 o'clock in the morning, but it meant nothing to him. Of course, we can do something called patient education to avoid the complications of what might follow. And we can see that because he did not comply at 2 o'clock in the morning, he's having sandwiches brought to him, and he probably eats it unknown to the nurse, that he winds up having an amputation. So read more about this story by going to Diabetes for the Layperson at DearNurses.com. So I hope you've learned something about the importance of the complications of diabetes, how it affects the organs, and how we really need to educate our patients. If we, we can only do so much, I know, but if you can educate that patient to make them understand what they do not understand, you might be saving them from getting into a world of trouble. So keep looking forward to more clinical issues in the, in the near future. Stay posted for more clinical issues. Have a nice day.